Hey, welcome to another episode of Amp Up Solar Talk. Joining us today is Royce Naylor from EG4. He's here to talk to us about the all new EG4 Power Lift Pro. This is a drill powered lift designed to help make installing the heavy wall mount batteries easier, safer, and more efficient. So if you're watching live, be sure and drop your questions in the chat. We'd love to hear from you. Royce, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, Kelly, thanks for having me. I always enjoy coming over and hanging out with the S2 crew. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun. So talk to us about where the idea for the Powerlift Pro came about. Was it to solve some challenges in the field that you guys saw? Yeah, I mean, so the Powerlift Pro is really born from, you know, you see enough guys uh, lifting up 300 plus pound batteries and, you know, alignment and it's there has, at a certain point you have to think that there's got to be a better way a more yeah. efficient way and a way that really you know at the end of the day allows these guys to be able to get out of work without having to pop some ibuprofen and you know think about their career decisions so this uh tends to we we like to think will solve that problem for a lot of uh, the crews out there absolutely so what about the describe the design philosophy why did you guys decide to go with the drill powered lift mechanism rather than something else oh so okay one thing that we feel like uh is normally probably in in every installer's toolbox is a 18 volt or a 24 volt drill Mm -hmm. and so with that uh we felt like the uh um, uh, lead screw or uh, uh, lift screw that is inside of here uh all you have to do is attach your drill here uh secure it and um, depending on whether you're wanting to go up or down, uh, ups clockwise and downs counterclockwise. Mm-hmm. And that that's really, it doesn't take any kind of, you know, extensive training. Um, we wanted to make this to where, you know, you could get it out, uh, get it together and uh, get straight to work. So just something because you knew that every installer would have exactly. this drill and make it easy to, to use. Yep. All right. That's it. Great. Well, talk to me about the safety considerations that you guys put into this this drill because obviously it definitely makes installation safer. I've I've used one. I've I've installed a battery with it, but um, how did you guys make sure that this was safe? Yeah, well, I, first I like to put a lot of uh, you know uh, attention to the hydraulic brake here. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever you are uh, coming up and lifting a load, that's definitely something you always want to make sure is on. Uh, it's like I said, hydraulic. You've got your uh, grease ports to make sure that everything is uh, moving smoothly and correctly. We've got anti-slip uh, here on the forks, so nothing's moving around. Uh, we've got a belt that is tested to be able to handle any type of EG4 ba- uh, wall mount battery. So, And also, we've got these bumpers here, so there's no sliding metal against metal or scraping. Mm-hmm. Once you get your battery set there, it's the correct distance and, and safe distance from the uh, Powerlift Pro itself to uh, keep it uh, from, you know, sliding around on you or anything mm-hmm. like that. Or leaning forward and backward too much. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, uh, we also have wheels here uh, that I believe they often come with either metal or sometimes depending on which one you get. I know we, they come both, I'm sorry, they both come in the set. So we've got metal wheels and then we've got our, uh, rubber ones there Mm -hmm. so depending on what type of surface you're on it definitely you know be aware of what what, where you're going to be installing and change the wheels out to suit what environment you're in okay are there talking about the wheels or which ones would these wheels be better for and the metal wheels which would you recommend those for in in my experience with this bad boy uh the metal wheels on concrete for instance Mm -hmm. uh is kind of like uh have you ever been using a pallet jack and then you hit a rock? Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of stops immediately. Yeah. I've so, been on a skateboard and been thrown off when you yeah, hit a rock. Exactly. Same exactly. Yeah. And so, uh, in those types of situations, the rubber wheels, you know, tend to be able to allow you to do that with a bit more ease. Mm-hmm. And then, whenever it comes to, uh, uh, it gives you a little bit more grip. Mm-hmm. And uh, the metal, uh, they're going to be a little bit less sticky and be able to. Uh, move gradually along things a little bit easier than uh say the rubber wood on carpet or something like that okay which is why we we changed because it comes with the metal ones and Uh we changed to to the rubber ones let's talk about the terrain 
So what kind of terrain is this recommended for? And is there some terrain that is not recommended for it using is, the lift on? Yeah, for sure. So whenever it comes to these uh, like carpet or uh, concrete uh, uh, level surface installations, that's really what this is the bread and butter for. Mm -hmm. um, we don't we don't highly recommend using it in like a sandy or uh, unlevel plane. That way, there's no uh, surprise whenever it comes to weight displacement or mm -hmm. you know it possibly moving forward on you, uh, because that's just something that can't be helped whenever it comes to those types of conditions. Uh, but yeah, uh, most installations, a lot of times you're going to be within a concrete or uh, hopefully a, a solid ground situation, so you don't have that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's where I'm looking for a uh, contrast th that that you have to take into consideration. Yeah, sometimes I've noticed when we've had to go to an install, we've had to kind of roll it over some some rocks or mm -hmm. something like that. Is there something that you would recommend? Any tips or tricks that that you've had or you've seen people use to help them get from one place to another before they can get to where maybe their concrete block is where they're going to mount their batteries? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean. You, I've seen guys uh, lay down uh, plywood mm -hmm. to be able to get it there. Uh, cardboard, a lot of times, will make all the difference. Okay. And whenever it comes down to it, having a spotter uh, whenever you're working any type of equipment, you know, making sure that uh, nothing's moving the way it's not supposed to be moving. Uh, right. if, a second person is always going to be the safest and best way to uh, make sure that you're getting your loads where they need to be safely. Which brings me to my next question, honestly, is um, this is recommended for, you guys say in your manual, a small team. Would you ever recommend one person doing this by themselves at all? No, no. This is definitely, I mean, we, we came up with uh, the Powerlift Pro specializing towards the smaller crews, you know, the one, mm -hmm. uh, the, the two, three man uh, teams. And that's just whenever you're lifting batteries all day long. Uh, it gets tiresome and uh, right. whenever it's the same crew doing it over and over and over and over again um yeah it's uh it, it's gonna you're gonna find some fatigue uh but i i wouldn't i would not recommend doing it with two uh just strictly because accidents do happen and it's always best i i wouldn't recommend picking up any four, 300 plus pound battery without anybody sitting there with you right so at least two at least maybe two. more yeah, maybe more for sure right Okay. And that's just purely for safety. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. Um, now you guys designed this to go with your indoor and your outdoor batteries. How did you ensure that it would work with all of your wall mount batteries? For sure. Uh, so with our newer style batteries, uh, I, I can't remember whether it's the indoor or outdoor has the adjustable feet. That's the indoor. The indoor. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the outdoor, we have raised the, uh, little legs on the bottom mm -hmm. to accommodate this. I, I've heard that whenever it comes to some of the older batteries, uh, there is a little bit of a, a, a hang up because they had the smaller feet. Mm -hmm. That being said, that's where that second person comes in to, you know, uh, help with is uh, if you can get somebody just to tilt it and then mm -hmm. bring it back, it should slide right up for you. Right. So, so, but once you get it on there, it still fits Strap. the same and absolutely. Okay. And the brackets still work the same way, and mm -hmm. still lifts. They're still the same weight. So everything still works the same. Right. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is, yeah, uh, as much fun as this thing is, uh, we never recommend uh, trying to move the batteries whenever you're at maximum height. Mm -hmm. And so if you're up, you know, around the 27, uh, 25 inch lifting height, don't try and travel around with that, you know, make sure that it's just barely off the ground, get your traveling done. And then whenever you get to your destination, go ahead and lift it up, uh, bring it back down, make sure it's secured and you're, you're good to go. Just take off the straps and off to the next battery. All right. Well, while we're talking about that, what is its maximum capacity and its maximum height? Um, maximum height is a little over 39 inches mm -hmm. and the maximum uh, weight, I believe is 441 pounds, I believe exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so right around 440 pounds, mm -hmm. uh, maximum lift and maximum height, 39, 31.9 inches is what the manual says. I okay. say. And why were those specific limits chosen? 
Uh, well, whenever it comes to height, that's about the only, that's about what most installs uh, max height's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And also that allows, uh, in a lot of cases, depending on the size of the vehicle that uh, the battery is getting uh, brought out of, that's about the height of a tailgate. So you yeah. can you, you can lift this thing up, right up next to your tailgate, bring it up, slide your battery over onto it, bring it down, mm -hmm. and then you're not even having to unload it from the truck without hurting your back. Sounds like that was thought through very well. Yeah, we try. How much what, how much does the Powerlift Pro itself weigh? Uh, it's a uh, hundred and two pounds. It's a little. It's, I think it's a hundred and one point something, mm -hmm. but it's uh, right around one hundred and one pounds. So within that, you know. Uh, I hate to go back to the two man thing again, but rolling it in and out, uh, it's definitely going to be easier with two people. Not yeah. saying it can't be done. done. Getting in and out, in and out of the work truck. Most of storage. our installers out there are pretty, you know, <laughs> you guys are hosses. But that being said, we're, this is here to make your lifting easier, not harder. So, and yeah, uh, we wanted to make this to where it was something that people were excited to use and made their lives easier. Uh, and it wasn't just another piece of equipment that was, you know, left in the back of the installation truck gathering dust. So yeah, that's, that's really why we wanted to make this as easy for our installers to use and as effective as it can be. And so, yeah. Okay. We, we do have a question here that says, can you manage steps? So can you take this thing up and down steps with a battery on it? Uh, I have not personally seen that done before. Um, I imagine with, the right spotter and uh, uh like i said you know plywood and uh things like that or building some for form of ramp definitely would help uh but i don't see why not it, it it's uh, capable of it but uh not the steps themselves you would probably have to build some ramp sort of ramp to be able to accommodate that um so that, together with a battery and the lift we're talking somewhere upwards of just over 400 pounds oh yeah and we're talking well, about going up and down a ramp exactly yeah you're looking uh, over 400 pounds plus these are not these are hard rubber tires mm -hmm. so they're not going to have a whole lot of give to them so whenever you get to those steps it's probably gonna be a little tough okay so probably not recommended at this point not at this point saying? not okay. at this point yeah all right so you're telling me that all it needs to operate is a drill that's 18 volts to 24 volts. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through what else it takes to get this thing set up and operating? I notice you've got this strapped in. You've got some yeah. kind of adapter here. Talk to me a little bit about that. So, yeah, we do recommend uh, nothing less than 18 volts, uh, uh, volt drills. Uh, and also we do recommend drills over impacts. Um Whenever it comes to using an impact, uh, I, I hate to say it, but it just does not have the efficiency that it does whenever you have an 18 to 24 volt drill. Uh, that's way, where you're going to get your uh, maximum capabilities out mm -hmm. of the product. Um, as soon as... There's a certain torque rating on that as well, right? I, that you want to set it to? I believe so. Uh, I want to I want to say it was... Medium to low, uh, right? Yeah. On your settings? Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> To be honest with you, uh, I, I tend to just make sure that it's not slipping on me, and that's about where I leave it at, you know. Okay. Uh, but once you get your drill on there and get it torqued correctly, uh, you definitely want to put this strap that comes on uh, with the Powerlift Pro on here, uh, mm -hmm. just to make sure that your drill's not shifting on you. Um, before we decided to put this handy dandy strap here, we did see some wrists get snapped and hands get pinched. Uh, so um, this right here is definitely something that needs to be paid attention to and utilized appropriately. And it comes with an adapter that will fit? Yes, 10 millimeter, 10 okay. millimeter bit that'll come with it. Um, whenever you are, uh, like I said uh, earlier, whenever you're using this thing, make sure that your brake stays on. And then on, once you get your uh, Powerlift Pro back and ready, take at that point, you can take your uh, brake off and move. But whenever you've got loads, uh on there and you go to pull back i mean anybody that's lifted uh up an object heavy uh in, while moving or something you know that those tires can slip on you and come out from underneath you so make sure that your brake stays on and that you stay out from underneath the power lift pro all right great can uh, we see this thing lift up off the floor 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you want to turn down your dials, brother? That way I'll blow you away. Um, this also has four different grease fittings in it. Uh, so whenever it's time, I believe that the maintenance on it is uh, every 250 lifts or annually. And so those four grease fittings, uh, grease them until you see grease coming back out, wipe the access away, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So, all right, here we go. Uh, or do we want to go all the way up or? Well, we've got one back right here behind us that's lifted to its maximum height here. There so, you go. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and then on the way back down. And if you, if you notice whenever I lift it up, there are stabilizer feet underneath the initial forks so that you don't get that uh, weight displacement that mm -hmm. might, you know, cause it to move forward mm -hmm. Un unless you are in like a sandy type area then the forks might sink into the ground but whenever you're on solid ground uh that'll definitely keep uh, the uh power lift pro from leaning forward on you so that's when a plywood base or something more secure would be helpful there as exactly. well exactly uh, we do have another question from adam delay which also leads me to a question i had he says um, a version that could help with installing inverters would be nice to have also so does eg4 have any plans for coming up with uh, an adapter for installing other things in the eg4 line like adam are you trying to get me in trouble other battery brands or other okay things within the eg4 line i i can't shed light on that but i'll tell you what uh eg4 does have an excellent reputation of listening to its customers and trying to provide what you need to be successful so I hope that best answers your question, Adam. <laughs> uh, if that is something that you guys would like to see out in the field and would make your jobs easier, um, we, we will be happy to uh, try and get something like of that sort uh, in the R&D room and start testing. Well, let me ask you this. With your um, beta testers and other people in the field that have had a chance to use this, what feedback have you heard from them? Uh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's really uh, the main thing is, you know, nobody likes picking up those things over and over again. And with our wall mount battery becoming kind of the staple of uh, the types of batteries that most people are installing now, uh, mm -hmm. you're seeing less rack battery systems and uh, more wall, wall ba battery projects. Mm -hmm. um, with that, you know, uh, you, you're going to cut down on the amount of times that you're having to call in just because your back's sore or uh, yeah. I, I, I know that everybody, you know, there are a lot of tough guys out there, but we got to listen to our mamas and daddies whenever they said our backs won't last forever. <laughs> and, right. uh, and so uh, this is this is us trying to listen to your mom and daddies and give you something that's going to make you uh, successful in the field and also extend extend the length of your career. Absolutely. And it really looks like it's going to change the conversation on labor savings as well cut down on installation time and things like that oh for sure yeah uh you know whenever you're able to just wheel it over there get it to the exact same uh, right height set it down on your bracket and then move on to the next thing you're cutting down on a lot of time just lugging things around you know uh, mm -hmm. that's gonna give you an extra uh project to two projects to three projects a week so that's right. that time is money that's right well royce i really appreciate you being here today and sharing this with us, it really looks like it is going to um, just really make life a whole lot easier for solar installers everywhere. Absolutely. So I really appreciate that. So don't forget, you can check out the PowerLift Pro and other solar products at SignatureSolar.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook at Signature Solar US so you never miss an episode of Amp Up Solar Talk. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Kelly.